didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they did. I'd, it's something I can't fault our group every single week. I mean, there's only been a couple of occasions. I mean, it's nice when you come to the footy and you don't have to worry about whether your group really wants to have a go. And, uh, you know, that's what I feel like at the moment as their coach is, you know, I'm coming and, you know, they're getting themselves ready for the contest. And, um, you know, that's a really pleasing aspect of what they're producing at the moment. We're probably in on the other side, we're teasing a little bit too. Yeah, you know, we're we're smidging away from being able to break through and and uh, have a, a really good breakthrough win, but um, yeah, we're sort of probably not having that uh, that consistency over the over the long game um, to get us the result. So yeah, you know, little things hurt us from time to time, but that's something we've got to be able to develop and grow as a group. Mm. How are you feeling at half time when the boys have done so well in the second quarter? Oh, positive, and so were they. Um, you know, we, we sort of knew that they, you know, they moved the ball so well by foot, and that was something that we didn't quite take off them early, and they were sort of getting out a little bit too early and drawing us up and getting us over the back. So that was a bit of a concern for us early, but the guys adjusted pretty well, and um, we started to get our own forward pressure, and we are certainly winning the ball around the um, around the middle of the ground a lot better and using the footy a lot better. Um, you know, I thought Brownie's role through that period of time was really critical um, in the whole makeup of how we wanted to play, and and a few others started to join in. So, you know, so there was some really good parts as I said of the game. Um, third quarter late was very good, and you know, obviously the last quarter they were able to run over the top of us. So, you know, that alters our numbers quite considerably, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but at the same time, there's uh, we've certainly had plenty of opportunities to to score. I mean, we had I think five scoring shots to their seven in the last quarter. So. We're getting chances, we're just not capitalising on them. The matchup of Gibson on the ground was quite pivotal to the game. How did you see that? Oh, it was, but he had plenty of support, so um, not to um, put down the role of uh, Gibson, but he, he had plenty of mates around him. So, uh, But I thought the way Brownie worked into the game, I mean, he certainly had his measure early, but I thought the way Brownie played his role, um, you know, he, what he kicked three, I think, Brownie, yeah. you know, and, and did enormous warm work up the ground. So. I thought he did all right for us. Brown threw was pretty important for us in the big uh, in in the way the game was played out eventually. Just he's uh, obviously now Brisbane Lions' greatest goal kicker. That's a huge achievement. And yeah. More to come, hopefully. Yeah, and, and look, he's he's uh, obviously an enormous leader. I mean, I've, I could probably keep talking about Brownie. I mean, you guys speak about him enough, so. Um, but you know, he's important, and just even his approach to the, the way he changed up his game um, for the betterment of the team. There, all the little things that you want want to see from your skipper, and you know, he's uh, you know the goal. Yes, he's been a great thing, but you know, as a as a coach, and when you have your when you have your captain, that's um, you know echoing your sentiments and trying to push the playing group, what you're trying to achieve as a coach um, and coach out on the field, it's just you know it's a really important attribute to have within your leadership group. And he's you know he does that, and the fact he actually gets rewards at the same time is just you know makes him the leader he is. And um, you know, come to played with him, admired him, and coaching him, admire him. So no, nothing will change there. Yeah, he, he was. Um, you know, a lot, lot more joined in. So, and uh, it, you know, it takes us. It takes it. You know, that ability to be able to identify it and be able to want to do something about it, but then have the skill and ability to do something about it. So, uh, and you know, those partic two particular guys can do that. But I, I do think that we're starting to get a number of other players that are starting to do it too. Um, which is really pleasing to see, and and uh, something that we weren't able to turn around, you know, uh, earlier on the year. But I think we're starting to turn around now, and you know, a lot of more players are starting to put their hand up for ownership of this team, and and uh, that's really pleasing to see because it's been a lot of our emerging players that are starting to do it, which is fantastic. Yeah, he's just a good mover. Yeah, no, I've, yeah, he copped a bit of heat after I gave him praise last week, so we're not doing it this week. Well, um, yeah, we've lost by 42 points. So you got to put it in perspective. It's something that we want to emulate, obviously, to try and get up to the top of the top of the tree. But it's you know it can be pretty close sometimes too. But the one thing that you've got to be able to build on is uh, team character, and I reckon we've got plenty of that. And I reckon our boys and our group's got plenty of that. Um, I think they've shown that through the year when they probably haven't had a lot of encouragement through the year with direct results. So the fact that they just keep coming, if that's the foundation to build a team on, it's a pretty good one. And I think that their group is showing that. Mm. Do, you, do you have to emphasize to the guys that it was closer than 
Hawthorne scored in the sense of Oh, we were outplayed. I mean, we Hawthorne the better team. Let's put that absolutely out there. They are the better team. We've got things to work on to make ourselves better. So um, we aren't reaching that stand at the moment. It's something to aspire to. And I hope that by playing against the, this particular team, that we get a real understanding of what's required to get us to the next level. Are there any particular areas that, for improvement that you would focus on? Um, well, ball use. I mean, yeah, ball use has got to get better. Yeah, sometimes the best form of defence is the, how you use the footy and how you hold on to the footy. That's something that we've got to improve. I think we've seen signs of it, but uh, but certainly for the longevity of the game, that's something that we've got to improve.